Now this one, this is a different layout, and sometimes you'll see they will do schematics this way. Uh, rather than just having the vertical ladder diagram, we'll have this uh, horizontal one, where your uh, uh, switch is here, uh, your compressor and condenser fan motor there, indoor fan motors here, and here's your 24 volt down here, and uh, with the controls there are pretty much the same as we see in everything else. And I've added a little something here, the legend. Now the legend, you know, sometimes there's uh, parts on there that are abbreviations. You're not sure what the abbreviation is, there usually is some kind of key, and that's what that legend is. This one isn't very complicated, but uh, I uh, just wanted to show you that we're putting that in. Now let's go ahead and we're going to close this switch here and we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, the only thing we've done here is we've closed the system switch. I want to notice this is 240 volts, so we have a two-pole switch. Uh, and of course they're connected together, that's why the dotted lines are there. Now that's going to feed power uh, to all different areas here, and I'll go over that when we uh, sequence it. But it's also feeding power to the 24 volt and making it ready to operate. Okay, now we've, uh, uh, well, let's start down at 24 volt. The thermostat is closed, cooling thermostat, which feeds power to energize contactor C, which goes up into the high voltage here and closes the two contacts of the contactor to energize compressor and condenser fan motor. You're both in the same circuit. Okay, at the same time, power passes from the thermostat down here in 24 volt through the auto position of the fan switch over to energize the fan relay. Okay, that closes fan relay one and energizes the indoor fan motor. So we've got everything cycled on now. Down here we have like CFM is condenser fan motor, compressor is com comp is compressor, C is contactor, FR is fan relay, IFM is indoor fan. Uh, this is just a different way of laying this out. I'm going to be uh, putting some real diagrams in here uh, in the future and the, every manufacturer has a different way of setting these things up. So uh, I just wanted to put this one in there so you had an idea of what uh, different layouts uh, you could have on these things.